Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2021. And we have seen this on the channel a few times, we saw the demo and then we saw the prologue, but this is the proper full version of the game, at long last it is here. We've had to wait a while for this, I mean it's been delayed a few times and it was originally called Farm Manager 2020, but they've had to delay it so much they've pushed it back to 2021 so they've changed the name of the game, but you know what, it's fine, it's here now, let's enjoy it now it's arrived. So what with this being the full version of the game, it has everything in it. So the previous versions we've played, so the demo and the prologue, they only had certain little bits of the game that we could play with. But this, of course, this is the full version. Everything is here. All the buildings and the crops and the animals and the training and everything else is available to us, which is brilliant, brilliant news. I'm very, very excited to play some Farm Manager 2021. The game is due out on the 29th of April, so just a few days time from when this video goes live. And of course, if you're interested, there's a link to the Steam Store page in the video description description below if you want to go and have a look then you can do so and we were given a key to this by the devs which is very lovely so thank you very much devs that's very splendid of you indeed anyhow enough whiffly waffling on let's just head back out into the countryside and do some farming so farm manager does have the three game modes here we've got the campaign mode we've got scenarios and we've got the free play mode we are going to play on the free play mode we've waited for so long to build our farm in farm manager 2021 i just kind of want to build it the way we like the campaign i'm sure is wonderful. I'm sure it's very, very lovely, but it is going to sort of, you know, it's going to force our hand a little bit. We're going to get little missions as the campaign goes on that's going to say, okay, now you need to repair this barn, or now you need to make 5,000 money off of chickens or whatever. And I kind of just want to do things our own way. I just want to be able to just build our farm how we like it, make all the mistakes that we're inevitably going to make, and, you know, do it our way. So I think we're just going to go for the free mode. I mean, the scenarios, maybe we'll come back and have a look at those at some point. I think there are quite a lot of them. There's all sorts of scenarios going on. There's one called Nerd, okay? <laughs> Machinery, Fan, The Zoo, Master of Economics, Carrot Cake. Oh, I like Carrot Cake. But yeah, so many, many scenarios. So we can come back and look at those maybe at some other point in the future. But yeah, let's just have a go on the free mode and just build our farm the way we like it. So here we go, and I can very happily report that Spacebar is pause. Well done, game. I like you already. So here we go. It's lovely to be back in Farm Manager again. I mean, it looks very, very similar, really, to Farm Manager 2018, which we played quite a while ago now in the Geek Cupboard. But, uh, but yeah, it's nice to be back in a kind of, you know, a more updated, exciting version with all sorts of new fancy whizzy bits and bobs on it. So what do we actually have? Let's just take a little look around and see what we've got. We do have a very generous starting amount there of one million monies. I'm still not entirely sure what the currency is because that little symbol there is just sort of a made up symbol. So I don't really know what it is. We'll just say it's monies. That's fine. We have a million money to start with, which is very nice. And of course, we have no people. Nobody's working here because we've only just sort of you know, rocked up and decided to set up a farm over here. So this is our house. And you know, it's, it's quite big. It's quite nice. I assume, yeah, I guess we live here because yeah, there's our... There's our clothes hanging out to dry on the line out there. So there we go. There's our socks and our underpants and stuff. Lovely. And then we've got ourselves a bit of a beat up tractor over there in the garden. I mean, it'd be nice if we could sort that out. Can we not just you know, either repair that or get rid of it? Sweep it away with a giant brush and put some lovely flowers down or something. Because that's a little bit of an eyesore. But uh, yes, as well as us living here, this also does act as storage. This is kind of like a little mini storage area type thing. So yes, we can uh, put things in here until we build ourselves a proper storage building. And then I think we've just got a load of nothing. Yeah, there's just a lot of nothingness going on. We've got a road going through the middle, some power lines going through. And then, yes, we've got the space in the sort of the white dotty lines. And that's it. That's all we have right now. Now, I think in, you know, in time, we'll be able to expand. We can expand into new bits and make a huge, gigantic farm. But yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's thinking ahead a great deal. Right now, we just need to get something underway. So what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Because, yes, we kind of have free reign to do what we like. I mean, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, just to get things started, greenhouses. Greenhouses are always a very, very good bet because yeah, they work all the time. They are able to produce things while it's summer and winter and autumn and spring and all that kind of stuff. Whole sort of year round crop. Whereas, you know, you can't grow wheat all year round in winter, it's going to die off. Whereas if they're in greenhouses, we can keep stuff growing. So how about we get some greenhouses in? So here we go, let's go down to here. Now, this is all quite new stuff. This is all new because, yeah, these are all the all the options available to us right now. Oh, my goodness me. There are many, many things. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Um, it's not production. It's not garages. It's not decor. Oh, hang on. Decor. Very important. 
Um, oh, that's a, that's a disappointingly limited amount of decor, although it does look very nice. I do quite like the flowers box. That's quite nice. But yeah, I kind of wanted more. And then others, what's that? A well, a pump. Gre oh, greenhouses. Oh, greenhouses are in here. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Let's get some of these in. And then, of course, yes, we need workers as well. We need quite a lot of stuff going on. And then, yes, we need to do training as well, because training is now a thing. We couldn't do it in the demo versions and the prologue versions, but now we can train as well. So what do we want to get there? A greenhouse. That is 5,000 monies, and it costs us 50 per month. Okay. And that one, the big greenhouse, is 7,000 monies, and is 50 per month. Hang on, that's the same as the smaller greenhouse. Okay, we'll have a bigger greenhouse, please. Let's have a number of these, shall we? So where do we want these to go? I mean, I'm kind of thinking, um, yeah, we're gonna to need to power up various bits and bobs, because yeah, this is a new thing. Farm Manager 2018 didn't have this kind of power system in, whereas Farm Manager 2021 does. So we've got to be vaguely aware that we need to connect things up to power. Not the greenhouses, I don't imagine, but certainly the living quarters of the staff are going to need some sort of power. So yeah, let's get ourselves... I mean, yeah, these things are going to be good as well, aren't they? Mechanics, garage, wind turbines. Oh, they're quite good. Ah, yes, we've not unlocked those yet. Training is required. Now, one thing I don't know is where the training is on these series of buttons down here. I'm sure we'll find it at some point. So it'll be fine. Um, yeah, let's get ourselves a big greenhouse or two. But yeah, let's get some roads sorted, shall we? Two-way roads. Okay, that's the big roads here. I don't think we need that quite yet. Uh, paved road or gravel road. Okay. Let's have some lovely, lovely, proper paved road. Let's have the greenhouses over here. Why not? We just get rid of those trees. I assume we get money for the trees or whatever. We sell the wood. So yeah, let's put a road going straight up the side of our house there. So this is going to cost... Okay, road is relatively expensive. That's going to cost us 700 monies. That's not even that much, uh, much road, is it? Okay, we'll have a thousand, a thousand monies worth of lovely, lovely tarmac. And then, yes, over here somewhere, how about we have a bit that sort of comes out? We can just have greenhouses sort of slotting in quite nicely. So how about go and grab the big greenhouses? Okay. And then we'll put ourselves... Can we have one there and then another one next to it? I think if we get four of these, that's going to be a good solid start. So there we go. Get four greenhouses facing each other like that. So two on that side, two on that side. And that's how people get in. They get in via the road, which is fine. Uh, and then we are going to need a place where people can live. So social. Um, permanent employees. Yeah, that's seasonal employees. But of course, these are greenhouses. The whole point is they're going to be there all year round. So let's get some permanent employees into this house. So 30,000 monies this is going to cost us and 60 per month. Okay, that's fine. And we'll just put that right near those for now. That'll do the job. They can cover this sort of area over here. That's all fine. And then, do we need to... Yeah, we're going to need to get power over to that, aren't we? So how about we bring some power across from sort of here and behind that way, possibly. Um, yeah, so I think we need a transformer. Robot in disguise over there. So let's pop that behind the greenhouses. Do you want to put it across there? Let's put that... In fact, hang on, hang on. How near... Now, this is a good question. That building needs power. You know, that's where the staff work. They need to, you know, turn the lights on and all that kind of stuff and, you know, turn the telly on. How much of a building needs to be covered by this radius here of power? Like, it, if if it's just touching it like that, is that sufficient? Oh, no, it, go ah, it goes a different colour. Currently, look, the, the outline of that building is red, whereas we can then see if we push it over enough, it's about half. It has to have half coverage. And then it's gone green. So I assume that's going to be sufficiently powered if we just pop that there and then connect it to there. Okay, right. So now there's power coming that way. That means that that place, I don't really understand it, with a very long extension lead or something, is going to be plugged in over there. Okay, this is good. Right, move time on. Various things are going to appear. Yes, this is very good. This is very exciting. I mean, yeah, we do have storage over here. We do have that over there. And while they're doing that, can we find where training might be? That's going to be layout of field. That's roads. That's buildings. That's power. That's the market. Okay, there's all sorts of exciting things. Trout? We can have fish? Oh my goodness me, we can have fish. This is very exciting. Yeah, I want to get some animals in as well. What are they? Quail eggs. Oh, wow, there's all sorts of new wonderful things. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, game, can we pause it for a second? Sorry, I've just seen the new exciting things and now I'm more, I'm more distracted. Okay, so there's fish. 
that's very exciting. I don't think they were fish in the previous version. Um, then we've got uh, beets. We've got black currants. We've got yeah, lupine like you know, sort of the the sort of flowery plant type things. Um, got cabbages. Got cherries. Got cucumbers. Um, what are they? Onions. Got some onions and peppers. Plums. I don't think plums are in the previous version. That's quite exciting. And then we've got ourselves raspberries and watermelons. Oh my goodness me. There are so many things. Sunflowers, lovely sunflowers. Soya. Okay, that's interesting. And then, yes, of course, all of the different honeys. And yeah, now we can get the beekeepers in. So I think we'll get ourselves some beekeeping cottages as well. And then, yes, then we're going down all the stuff down here, which is all the processed stuff. It's all the, like, the juices and the drinks and things and the cuts of meat and what have you. Okay, that's all good. What's that? Flax oil. Oh my goodness me, we can make oil as well. And then frozen things. How, lo how long is the list of things that we can sell? Oh my word. And then dairy stuff, we've got cheeses, then all the different seeds and what have you. Okay. Oh my word. Right. Okay. I mean, what is what is selling very well? Quail eggs and carp meat. Okay. It's unlikely we're going to be able to provide anybody with those right now. However, we do know that cherries are down in price and cabbages are down in price. Okay, fine. So we won't grow any of those in our greenhouses over there. That's all fine. That's all okay. Um, right, okay. Keep time moving on. Okay, so where are the things? What's that? What's that do? Staff manager. Okay, this is all the sort of, you know, the budget and stuff. This looks like a managing sort of screen. Does this have the training in it anywhere? Does it have training? Training manager. Ah, yes, look. It's a little, a little sort of a university cap thing. Oh my goodness me. Right, hang on. Pause, pause again, game. Pause again. There is much going on in here as well. Okay, right. This is a little bit, this is a little bit easier to follow than it was in the previous version. It's now all stacked up very nicely indeed. And it kind of shows you the prerequisites of what you need. Okay, so rate of production up by 10%. Right now, I don't think that's going to be any good because I think production is in the sort of processing building. So, you know, like the thing that turns milk into cheese or whatever. So I don't think that's going to be any good. Wind farm building is very tempting because that does generate a bit of power in the long run. Um, storage capacity up, don't need that right now. Reducing the price of machines on the stock market. That might be quite useful. You might as well get that in early on whilst you know, you've not bought any machines. So then any machines you do buy in the future, you're always saving money on that could be good. Reduces bills. See, I think that's always really good. Reduces bills by 2%. Get that done early on and you've saved 2% of your bills from you know, very early on in the game, which is you know maximizing that. Uh, machine durability up. Strength of employees by 5%. Three days for 500 monies. That's probably worth doing. That's got to be worth doing. Okay, that's good. There's so much training going on. Increases the quality and quantity of the harvest by 10%. It gives access to specialised training. Yes, yeah, so the annual agricultural school is very expensive and it takes a full year. It takes an entire year of doing the learning. I assume they do go away. You go away to proper actual agricultural school and learn much in the way of farming. But then, yes, you get all sorts of wonderful things from it. And then right at the bottom... Allows you to hire up to 150 staff. Okay, I think maybe, maybe we don't need that right now. We've only got four greenhouses. They will be very busy greenhouses. How about, where's the 2% savings thing? There, let's get that. Because, you know, it's two grand, but the longer we play, the more effective that's going to be. So yes, we will reduce our bills by 2%, please. So there we go. That will just slowly tick over. Right, we need these things to be finished. So if we could finish these. I like the fact that loads of people just appear on the roof and all do a very nice synchronised bit of work. Everybody down. Everybody up. Everybody down. <laughs> oh, and they've all gone. Everybody vanish into nothingness. Right, looks like the greenhouses are done. And yeah, yes. Excellent stuff. Okay, so now we have ourselves four large greenhouses. The question is, what do we put in them? So I think we click on this question mark in the middle to try and look at stuff. There we go. So what do we want to put in? Now, can we see? Is there a thing where we can see at a glance what is selling well? What's going to sell really well? Like, is there something that's always going to be really, really popular? Can we come out of there, have a quick look at the market? What is selling splendidly well? Oh, no, we can't We can't sell anything. Hang on a minute. Trade, buy. Okay. So how do how do we look at the prices? There must be a way we can see like market prices and stuff. There must be a way to do that. Otherwise, how do we know what we want to sell? 
I mean, at the minute we can, you know, quail eggs and quail eggs and carp meat. Oh, everyone wants a bit of those. But yeah, what about raspberries or tomatoes or whatever? Are they going to be good? Do we want to get those or not? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, maybe we just have to look on the buy list. Just look on buy and then just see what we're buying it for. And that'll give us a relatively good sort of idea of how much things are worth. I mean, yeah, we're going to go for fruit and veg, aren't we? So how about, I mean, I mean, tomatoes are always a good bet. Tomatoes are always a good bet. And I kind of want to do the bio stuff. I think the bio stuff might be really good. Oh, look at that. The price of those is completely shot up. The price of organic organic tomatoes, six, whatever it is, farm manager money is 83. Okay, that could be quite good. I think we go organic tomatoes. Let's get two of those. So we'll have two of those and then we'll mix it up. Can we have some stuff that we've never had before? Um, okay, get rid of tomatoes. Gooseberries. They go, oh my goodness me. 23.52? Really? Okay, yeah, gooseberries. Right, get some gooseberries in. That sounds wonderful. Um, maybe not cucumbers. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could order these by their sort of respective value or whatever. I don't know if we can grow the apricots indoors. I imagine that's going to need, you know, like an orchard and stuff. Uh, what about beets? Beets, not very much. Cucumbers, we've already looked at. Peppers. Um... Peppers are looking okay, but they're not they're not gooseberry okay. What about plum plums? Okay, right. So plums, uh yeah, okay, right. Let's get tomatoes, because they're a good, solid, staple thing. We know what we're doing with those. Nice, nice and simple stuff. Right, so let's go to here, go to here, and then I'm hoping if we click on this, it'll say, you don't have the, the seeds for that. Would you like to buy some of those? And we can go, yes, that would be great, please. So let's go to here, tomato seedlings. Okay. So that's that done. Now, how do we make sure that it's a bio thing? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I assume, I assume they're being purchased. I'm not entirely sure they are being purchased. Hang on. Yeah, do we need do we need to tell you to buy them or not? I don't really know now. Um, no, the money seems to be the same. Hang on, let's go to here and say, right, you can also be scroll to scroll. You can be oh hang on. No, I've done it wrong. Bio. Bio ones of those. Yep, hang on a second. Um, undo that, please bio. Let's have a nice bio, you know, a nice organic kind of farm going on. I like the sound of that. And then in here, let's have um, bio, where are they? Bio gooseberries. Yep. So we'll have that. Oh, there, uh, there I am saying, I wish you could tell how much it was worth. It's it's written right here. Estimated yield revenue. It tells you right here, Penge. Look at what's before your face. Um, so yeah, 3,000. I mean, potatoes. Potatoes make an awful lot of money. But yeah, let's put some gooseberries in because we did see those. So we'll put the gooseberries in, and then which one hasn't got anything in? This one here. Let's have a little look. What's going to make a lot of money? The raspberries. Our old friend raspberries. Oh, they're super profitable. Yep, okay. We'll have some organic raspberries, please. So now, I think we need to order things in. Right, we do need a place to store some manure. Okay, where is a manure storage? Warehouses. Manure storage. There you go. In this place, you can store manure. That sounds like a good thing to have. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to put it next to the um, next to the worker house. I feel like that might be a bit mean. <laughs> We're already making them work very hard, let alone putting a great big pile of manure next to their house so they can't open the windows. How about, how about we go over here, we expand the road a little bit like that. Just pop the road over like that and we'll have sort of like a crossroads over there. And then the manure storage can go over here. There you go. I've been very kind to you. So yeah, we'll pop that just there. And that's near enough to all of those other things as well. So drop that in. We've got loads of money left. We've got so much money left. We do need to hire some people, of course. We do need some people in. And then, yeah, do we now need to go and buy the seeds and stuff? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, is it telling us over here what we need? Not enough staff. Yeah, okay, right. I'm with you on that. We haven't hired any staff yet. That's fine. Maybe we should go and do that and they can start working on it. Um, okay. Let's have people... Oh, we can filter it. Oh, this is very good. Um, Yeah, on plan... Oh, hang on. We can't... Hang on. No, can we filter it or can't we filter it? There. Yeah, so can we filter it on plants? So Jackson Owen is very good at working with plants. I mean, yeah, do we hire you for... Do we hire you for the full... For the price you've got by default? Or do we try and hire... You know, hire you for a bit more money to make you work a bit more? I think right now... Let's get Jackson Owen in and you can just be paid this flat rate here, which seems rather steep. 
That seems like quite a lot of money. I mean, we're going to need at least four people. So let's have you. You can come in. Welcome aboard. You're also good at plants. Not quite as good as Jackson, but that's fine. You can come in. You're good at plants and also you've got very much in the way of endurance. So that's going to be quite good. You're going to be quite, you're working quite hard into the night, Reggie. Well done with your smouldering look there. Okay, so hire you. And then nobody else is good at plants, unfortunately. We've got people that are good at machines and orchards. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting some orchards set up. I think they could be quite good as well. Maybe we get some orchards set up toward the back over there somewhere. Because that could be quite fun. Get some orchards sorted. So how about, hang on then, hang on. Order it by orchard skill. How good are you with fruit? Um, Logan Blake. Tremendous name. You're very good with orchards. So we'll get you in. And then maybe we'll just leave... We'll leave a space. Well, there's four spaces in there. But I want to get another person that's good at plants. So they can also help out over here. Okay, that's fine. Now, the big question is, what do we do? Like, Are they ordering this stuff in or not? Or is it going to tell us there's not enough stuff? Not enough staff? Okay, yeah, that, that's fair. But now there are some staff, so you should. Let's move time on a bit quicker. So are they going in here? Yeah, they're sorting out the soil in here. They've got to, you know, do all the work on the soil which might take quite a long time to do. We can't really see in there very well. But yeah, we can see they're busily sort of, you know, turning the soil and what have you. Okay, that's good. I'm happy that you're doing that. That's very good. Oh, and it's raining. And you guys are inside. It's it's wonderful. It's very well timed. But right, what we do need to do is, if we want to put manure in here, we're going to need to buy some. Because yeah, we haven't got any of our own. We haven't got that in the garage. So let's go to there and we shall buy um, some... Uh, oh, hang on, we need to buy some agrochemical stuff anyway. But we do need some manure. Hang on, put it onto all. Uh, yeah, let's have that. Buy some manure. Let's have... Uh, oh, that's quite nice. Build manure storage for two and a half thousand monies. So if you've forgotten, you can just go, oh yeah, build one of those and then stock it up with some stuff. Um, I don't really know. I mean, 5,000 manure? Is, is, is that too much manure? I don't really know. Hang on, can we have 5,000? Can we have... We can't have five. Can we have 2,000 manure? Can we have that? No. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Why can't Why can't we buy any manure? I want... Oh, this is very confusing. Why can't we build manure storage? We've got... We've got one. Oh, it's not powered. It's not powered. Okay, right. Yes, power is a thing, everybody, that I said I'd forget. And there we go. I mean, yeah, how about then we put that right at the back over there? In fact, you know what? No, let's put one over this side. Put one behind the greenhouses there, and that'll power everything up. Can we get that in line with that? Just thinking, can we get it in line with that one? Yes, we can. Right, drop that in there. Connect that down to there. Okay, there we go. Now the manure storage thing has power. Can we now buy some manure, please? I really want to buy some animal poop. There we go. 100. But no, let's buy 5,000 units of it, because I don't imagine it's that much. 1,300 monies. Can we buy 10,000 units of it? I've got no idea how much one of those things can hold. That's fine. Yeah, buy that in and we'll not need to top it up for an awfully long time. Okay, so that's good. Now in storage, however, are we buying in the um, the seeds we need? Or the, you know, the plant, the little sort of uh, saplings or whatever they are. The little tiny plants. Um, yeah, the seedlings, that's it. I'm not sure if we are. I don't know if we are. Do we need to tell them to buy them? Is there a thing we can do in here to say, go forth and buy these? I mean, that's been... That's been sorted. But are we now ordering this? They're ploughing this. I wonder if when it's been... When they've been sorted, if they then go and order them. Because it takes the pressure off us a little bit, doesn't it? We're saying, right, we want stuff in there. You, worker people, go and make it happen. So yeah, Gooseberry Organic is... They're cultivating... Oh, they're doing the soil. Okay, that's fine. That's all good. So they're still in here, just working very hard on this soil. So they've ploughed it. Now they're cultivating it, ready to put the plants in, which is good. But then, yeah, my concern is, when do they, When does this happen? Does it happen automatically or not? I am not entirely sure. Um, yeah, let's have a quick check. Have we bought any of these things in yet? Uh, no. No tomato seedlings, no raspberry seedlings, nothing like that at all. Okay, never mind, never mind. What we could do is, given we've got a massive pile of money, we could work on something else other than just four greenhouses. Although it is a good start, 
I think over here, let's have this bit for animals. And we just have loads and loads and loads of animals. There's a bird flying around over there. We'll have an awful lot of animals. I just want to make sure that this is actually working properly. So when this is done, let's see what happens. Those three people are out working on the field. Can we get a fourth person yet? Can we hire somebody who is good at plants? Have we got a good plant person? Yes, there we go. Plants and beekeeping. Okay. Amelia Jenkins. Beekeeping. I mean, I do want to get some bees. Do we just get you in for the beekeeping and get Ella or even Benjamin in for the for the plants? And keep Amelia for the bees. Yeah, let's keep Amelia for the bees. And then we'll have Benjamin here. Benjamin can come in for the plants. There we go. Right, so we've got a number of people. We do need to get ourselves a beekeeping thing. Um, are we allowed to build them? Just sudden thought that maybe we can't build... Maybe we can't build beekeeper things. Is that a beekeeper building? Oh, it is a beekeeper building. Okay, it looks like we can build them. Okay, it permits the purchase of hives. In the process, the beekeepers gathered honeycombs to get delicious honey. Okay, where would we like to set up our beehives? Now, if I remember rightly, the previous version uh, of uh, Farm Manager, you had to have fields nearby that had proper sort of, you know, fields that were conducive to having bees around the place. But I'm not entirely sure if that happens in this version. I do not know, but at least we know it's there. Right, if you lot could just finish working on this, if you could cultivate this, and then we'll see what happens. Are you just going to look confused at this? Or then you're going to fertilize it. Then the fertilizer stuff's going to go down. Now, has the has the stuff arrived yet? Hang on. Has the manure arrived? Yes, it has. There's an awful lot of manure in there, and they're picking it up out of there in buckets. We've got to do this by hand. <laughs> this is this is unpleasant. This is an unpleasant part of the job. Oh, they're doing this one as well. Oh, well done. Oh, this is good. So they're plowing that one, and then they're. Yeah, sort of working on spreading the manure around this one. Right, here we go. So fertilized. Now what happens? Yeah, I think we need to... Oh, no, no, don't no, don't destroy it. No, no, don't do that. I think, unless it's auto-ordered the stuff, I think we need to go in and order it. The only thing is, I have no idea how much stuff we need. <laughs> how how much do we need? I don't know. Not enough staff. That's That's fine. But how many of these do we need? I don't want to order, you know, 5,000 gooseberry seedlings and then only need three or something. I'm, I don't... How do we work it out? Does it tell us? Um, 0.025 hectares. Is that good or is that bad? Do you know what we do need? We do need some sort of... Uh, some sort of well. That might... Out there. Like that. A well. Allows increasing access to water for irrigation. Hang on. Didn't we see a pump? That looks a bit better. There's a well for 500 or a pump for 5,000. The pump does have a monthly cost, but I think that's probably worth it. Let's pop a little pump in around that side. I mean, where does it need to live? Can we see the front? Which, which way? Which is the front of the pump? I'm not really sure. Um, Hang on. Hang on. Right. There's a warning on one side of that pump. There's a warning on both sides of the pump. Do you know what? We'll, we'll put it there. There we go. So now they can get water from here to water this when they need to. But of course, right now, there's no point because there's nothing in there to water. <laughs> there's just some some soil. Um, okay, let's see if they do sort it out when they've sorted out all the other ones. I'm not really sure. I mean, it was a while since I played the demo version. I cannot quite recall how this works. Not really sure. Hang on. They're going into here. Why are you going into here? What are you doing going into this particular place? Is there stuff in here that you're collecting what's happening in here hang on hang on hang on no not that i can see doesn't look like there's anything um yeah where would gooseberries whatever it was we've put in b no that wouldn't it there's nothing in there so what exact hang on can we see what you're up to what are you doing you're going to big greenhouse one you do seem to have seeds you seem to have them hang on hang on are you going to go and plant these things Yes, you are. Oh, they have ordered them. Oh, this is brilliant. This That avoids so much faff. Because in the preview, you know, in, the, in the prequel to this game, in Farm Manager 2018, it was a bit of a faff because you had to sort of go, right, how much do we need in that particular space? Right, okay, that's 0. you know, 0.27 hectares. Let's work out how much we need to actually buy in. And then we buy too many and we have to sell them on again. But no, now they've worked it out. 
They're just planting them. They've just sort of used their own initiative and gone and done it themselves. Well, that's very good. Okay, right. So all these things are going to sort themselves out. How about we hire somebody else that might be good at plants? Is there anybody that's planty out there? Elliot Sharp. Oh, hang on. We've got a choice. Elliot Sharp or Mohammed Francis. Mohammed Francis is marginally cheaper. Yeah, okay. We'll hire you, Mohammed Francis. In you come. And I think we've got room for one more worker over there. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Why don't we have bees down here? Let's see what we can do with the bees along here. If we can do anything at all with them right now. I'm not entirely sure. So let's you know, let's pre press the right button. That might, might help a little bit. Right, there we go. Beekeeper building. So let's put one of those... Yeah, do you want to create a special bit for the bees? I think we might want to have a special sort of area for the bees. Although I don't really want the bees on the main road. I'd like to have something over here, like a row of buildings along here. What other buildings can we have? What's going to be useful? Chicken chicken coops. Yeah, we need to get around with him. An ostrich farm? Yes, okay, right, we're having an ostrich farm. I don't care how expensive it is. We're having ostriches. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Oh my goodness me. A fish farm. A fish farm. We can just have a fish farm. We could just we could just deal exclusively in fish. Oh, this is, there's so many things. Hang on, hang on. Right. We're, we've not really looked at this. I kind of dive straight in with greenhouses. What animals do we have access to? So we've got bees. We've got chickens. We've got ostriches. Then we've got, okay, different sized coops for the chickens. Then we've got the ostrich farms. Yeah. Then we've got the large ostrich farm. Then the fish farm. And then the cow shed. And then, scrolling over this way, then we've got a pigsty. Medium cow shed, medium pigsty, small sheds, medium sheds, large cow sheds. Okay, so yeah, that's sheep and goats, cows and reindeer, brilliantly by the look of it. And then we've got pigs and... Um, oh, I can't see what that is. There's something else there that I'm not quite sure what it is. And then that gives us fish. Oh, this is very exciting. And then, yeah, all sorts of birds can go in the chicken coop. It's like chickens, ducks, quails, presumably turkeys... Oh, this is, this is wonderful stuff. Okay, and we've not even put a field down. We've not even done a field, ladies and gentlemen. We've not even got to that point yet. Okay, how about then? How about we have the bees over here? Let's have a road coming behind. Whoa, that's the big road. Uh, let's have a road coming behind there. Let's just surround our house with road. Why not? There we go. That'll do. You can go around our house now. And then, yeah, we'll put the bees in here. And that means we're a little bit further away from the main road. So let's get ourselves a beekeeper building. Rotate it round. And we'll just put it... Just move it over a tiny bit, possibly. Pop that there. Okay. And then we'll see what happens with that. Because I imagine what happens is, uh, as we did previously, you have to click on it when it's constructed and then place down the individual hives. Yeah, the hives are 150 each. And they cover quite a big area. Okay, okay, oh, here we go. We can put down hives. Um, let's have, I mean, how many can we have per thing? I don't know. Put them sideways. One, two, three, four. Oh, hang on. Is it just three? Oh, no, we can have, we can have, ah, you can't put them too far away. Okay, I see, right. So that's, what's that? Five, six, seven, eight, um, nine, ten. Okay, ten per little beekeeper place and make whatever that is. Yeah, just make honey, I assume. I can't tell if it's a different thing or not. And then workers. Um, oh, hang on. Hire. I don't think we've got room to hire anybody. I think we should already have a worker. We should already have a worker. We've already got a bee person. Where's where's bee lady? She was good at bees. Is it Amelia? Um, is it you? Beekeeping. Yeah, Amelia, you're very good at bees. Uh, relocate. Oh, no, no, not relocate. No, not, no, no, not, not relocate that. Sorry, Amelia, I, I've confused you there. No, I want you to go and work in here. I want you to go and work in there, please. I'd like to assign that job to you. Why? Why can we not do that? She's currently working on... Because she's got plants. I don't want you to do that, though. I want you to go and work on the bees. We've got ourselves a nice beekeeper building now, and I'd like you to go and work there. But when we do that, it's telling us to hire a new person. Um... Okay, right. This is this is interesting. How are we going to do this? Where is she, Amelia? Come out of working on there, please. Can you can you go and work somewhere else? Are you allowed to do that? I don't know. We can train people up, look. A relatively short, uh, small amount of money as well. That's not that. That's not that expensive. 
Is it worth just training up all our people to be very good at plants? That could be quite good. Um, yeah, okay, do you know what? We'll upgrade yours. Yeah, we could we could spend a bit of money on that, couldn't we? We could spend a tiny bit of money on that. Um, yeah, I'm a bit confused as how to make her go and go and work in the in the bee place. Because we have a lovely bee place now, and it seems to me that we can't use her bee abilities. Do you know what? Well, let's just get another one of these in. Let's get another worker house in. We'll put it just here. We'll have two worker houses sort of in the middle. That'll do the job. Uh, where is it? Social. And another house for permanent employees. We'll put it... Let's put it there. I know we could have had another building slotted in there. But, you know, we're going to make it look nice. We're going to make it look nice. And what we'll do is we'll get some decor. Get some lovely decoratives. And just sort of dot them around the place. Right. So, yeah, we've got ourselves... Where was that nice sort of thing there. Yeah, one of those. A flowers box. That looks nice. Can we just have one of those there? For just a bit of, a bit of, you know, colour. And then can we get, yeah, another flower. Oh, they're tiny. These things are really tiny. Let's just put these across the bottom here. So we'll have one like that, one like that, one like that, and one like that. And then we'll try and fit those ones in. Oh, look at that. They're also slightly smaller, so they fit in the gap very nicely. There we go. Well, that looks a bit prettier. Okay, and now we can assign and then hire and then get somebody that's good at bees. There's probably a better way of doing that. But do you know what? It's fine. It's all good. Right. Bees. Oh, it turns out Jessica is amazing at bees. Jessica, in you come. Deal with bees, please. So, um, yeah. Jessica, assign. Oh, there you go. Assign Jessica. Okay. She must have been... How do you unassign somebody from these things and I don't know how you do that um, we'll probably happen across that at some point not quite sure how to do it now but there is Jessica in full beekeeper or you know beekeeper outfit or you know somebody from space has landed one or the other not entirely sure I imagine it's the beekeeper going into the bee cottage yes okay right now does it tell us over here what we need to do to make this does it tell us we've already got a bit of honey already some multi-flower honey is already there Oh, that's quite encouraging. Right. How about all the people over here then? So, Jackson. Um, we can't train you in plants any better because you're brilliant at it. Okay. Um, yeah, well, let's train you up in plants. So, this could actually be quite costly, couldn't it? 1,800. But you're going to be working in here. So, we might as well do this because that affects directly the size of the harvest. So, if you're better at these, that's got to be a good thing. What does that mean? What does that thing mean? Plant? Yeah, we've not... Why has he not got a plant thing on him? That seems to imply that they're assigned to plants, but maybe that's their main skill or something. They've got multi-skills. She hasn't got multi-skills. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, let's just get your plant skill up. Very good. And you, Logan, get your... Oh, that was orchards. Oh, I forgot you were orcharding. Okay, you're really good at orchards. We should possibly put an orchard out there. Um, you can be good at plants. Benjamin, you'd be good at plants. It is costing us a bit of money, actually, isn't it? It's fine. It's fine. And you do that. And then Jessica, you're good at bees. Oh, you're not even in the house. Oh, okay. And that house doesn't have power, doesn't it? Does that not reach that house? Oh, really? Just, I mean, come on. Just hang an extension through the window and plug stuff in. Okay, that doesn't quite reach over as much as I thought it might do. Oh, botherations. Okay, how about... It's all fine. It's all fine. Electrical transformer. Pop that. Just there. Then we'll run a cable across the road. Um, like that. And then down like that. And then across... Oh, that's, that's a hot mess, isn't it? Hang on. It can go through our... It can go through our thing. I'll put it like that. And then connect it to there. I mean, that's a bit of a mess. And don't drive any tall, uh, you know, any tall vehicles this way because you're going to absolutely destroy the power supply. But it's all fine. Okay, good. There we go. That is now in. We've got ourselves power sorted for that building, even though no one lives there. And we have honey being made over here. We've got 13 honey now. This is very good. Right, how's this going? So that's very slowly growing. 42 days until that's done. They are still working on the soil over there. They're plowing that one. And they're plowing that one. Okay, it must have taken a while to plant everything over there. Oh, now they're spraying these. Oh, they're buying all the stuff. They've bought in all of the um, chemical stuff as well, have they? Where are we keeping all this stuff? <laughs> we 
where are we keeping all the stuff? I was kind of assuming to see things in that warehouse. But there's no chemical stuff. So I don't know where they're keeping all of that. I don't know. Oh, what does that mean? What does that sign mean? Ah, we need a barn. Okay, we need somewhere to store all of that stuff. Right, storages, warehouses. Okay, a barn can store hay and straw and haylages. haylages. Um, that can store seeds and plants, fruits and vegetables, meats, dairy, agrochemicals, dry goods. Does that include honey? I assume it must, because you're not going to put honey in silos and the barn can't have it. So I assume we need to get ourselves a warehouse. The warehouse is quite big. Okay, how about we pop the warehouse. Put the warehouse up here. Put it over there. There we go. 12 grand. A very, very expensive thing, but it will do the job. Right, in it goes. So warehouse goes in, and hopefully, as soon as that's built, that thing will vanish from over there. Because that will then start putting stuff into there, I would hope. Hopefully. Hang on. What's that? What's that saying? No warehouse. There is. Um, okay, how do we how do we say that's there? Oh, there's no electricity. <laughs> I'm not used to this electricity stuff yet in Farm Manager. Hang on a second. Let's power this place up. Um, how about we put something um, there? And that will cover everything over here. And then we just run it sideways to sort of about there-ish. And then connect it down to there. Okay, that's fine. And then, just so I remember, we'll have a road. Uh, nope, not going. No, not from there we won't. From there, there we go. Road going up like that. So if we choose to expand into this place here, that's how we're going to get in. Right, okay. Warehouse is in. You can switch the lights on in there now. And this place is happy. Okay, this is good. And we've only spent just under 200 grand. I mean, I say only. <laughs> A, a trifling 200,000 monies. But um, but yeah, yeah, we've got ourselves a decent setup going on. We've got bees. It'd be nice if we could get somebody to deal with these birds. Can we build some scarecrows? That might be quite nice. But yeah, so we could. I mean, can we sell... Have we got any honey yet that's in the warehouse? We've got the kind of, you know, the, the spray stuff. The organic antifungal spray stuff. But I don't think in there is any honey right now. Can we... Order that? Only organic. I suppose honey is organic, I suppose, is it? I don't know. Do we need to say make bio honey? I don't know how you do that. I'm not entirely sure. We'll work we'll work that out at some other point. It's fine. Right, this is saying we haven't got enough workers. It's kind of telling us we haven't got enough people. Maybe we need somebody else. Let's get somebody else in. Somebody who is good at plants. Given that this is a farm. Sophia, you're good at plants. You've got four plants. Um, yeah, you can come in. And Ollie Page, yeah, you've got plants and endurance. So you're pretty good. So yeah, we'll have you as well. I mean, these people all look very, very similar. Everyone looks very similar around here, but we're not going to ask questions about the part of town we're in. Right, okay. Ollie Page. In you come, Ollie Page. And then what we'll do is, um, you can be better at plants. Good job. And then go to here and Ollie... You can be better at plants as well. And we'll give you a we'll give you a little a tiny notch of endurance there. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Right. These are looking very good. These are looking great. Look at that stuff is growing. It's all been sprayed. 28 days left. That's been fertilized but not planted. That's still being cultivated. And then midway through planting the raspberries. Okay, can we get these done? Because then we can see how long that's gonna take. That's going to take... Oh, no, that's not planting. That's planting. That's that's manure. That's seeds, Page. There we go. Must remember. Okay, so the only thing we've got in is these. That are fortunately quite profitable, which is good. Right, let's take a quick look then. If we wanted to sell some stuff... Yes, we have some stuff to sell at long last. Right, sell all of it. 105 units. We can make two grand. This is our first profit. Can we just take a moment here, everybody? Just take a moment. It was always going to be the bees, wasn't it? It was always going to be the bees. The bees have made us some lovely, lovely honey. And we can turn that into lovely profit. So two grand we're going to make on that already. That is excellent stuff. Yes, please sell that. Two grand comes our way. Excellent stuff. We just made our first profit. Hurrah. This is all very good. Hello. What are you delivering, Van? I don't know what you're delivering. Not entirely sure what's going on there. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, fine. You can just, you stay there. Whatever you're doing, I don't really know. But there we go. Right, so this is all very good. Stuff going on over there. So how about we get ourselves, yeah, the animal set up over here. I kind of feel like we could make quite a bit of money from animals. Because animals, depending on the ones you have, they can either generate milk and they can generate wool and they can generate all sorts of the bits and bobs. And then, I wonder, I wonder if, hang on, what day are we on? 12th of the 5th. I didn't look at the start date. Oh, hang on, we could have been doing training and stuff. Hang on, how is the, how's the training going? I assume we've finished our first bit of training. Where was it? Um, it was, uh, was it down here? Yeah, that's done. Oh, I assume we've, we've completely smashed that and it's all sorted now. We've finished this training ages ago. Um, how about, how about, what else do we want to get? Productivity not bothered, storage not bothered, price of machines, we're not going there quite yet. Strength of employees, it's 500 for three days. Let's just get that done now, shall we? Let's just move time on. Do you know what? We could even just sit here and just let this roll on by. That's going to get here very easy. Yeah, I think we possibly have missed out on doing quite a bit of training. But that's fine. So we'll get that done. And then, what do you want to go for after that? I'm thinking we might bite the bullet. Bite the bullet and just go for annual agricultural school. 365 days. So a full year of training for 100 grand. But then it opens up all this other stuff here. Uh, extra sort of uh, levels of uh, buildings for pigs, reduces probability of diseases, cow buildings can be unlocked, increases the harvest by 10% for fruit growers, increases honey harvest by 10%. So I think that, I think that's going to be really good. I think we consider this here. Hang on. What are these other things here? Is it worth just getting some of these things in? Strength regeneration for permanent employees by 15%. So they're 5% stronger, and now we can make them get their strength back 15% quicker, which means they're going to be out there doing more work. Yeah, okay. Do that for 14 days. Is there a thing which tells us about training? Is there a thing which tells us about the training? Is there like a little slider or a notifier or anything? I'm not sure if there is. Also, why have we got... Oh, no, it's, ah, we have 10 staff, and none of them are unassigned. That's good. Okay, in here, can we see then those... Bio gooseberries, and let's have a look at the amount of honey that we've got as well. So I think it's just regular honey, isn't it? Don't quite know how we get that. 30 lots of it. Oh, this is wonderful. Good job, everybody. And then, yes, bio gooseberries. Not quite in. Ah, because they're being watered. Okay, that's fine. You crack on with watering those. So, yeah, let's get ourselves a kind of a very basic over here right now sort of uh, animal setup going on. That might be quite nice. Well, yeah, we'll get some sheep. We'll get some, some cows and pigs and possibly some fish. In fact, quite a lot of fish. I kind of just want to have a great big fishing thing set up because it's new and exciting and shiny. But first things first, let's just get a road in, shall we? Get a road in. Possibly from... Yeah, we can't run that over there now, can we? Because that thing's in the way. That's unfortunate. How about then? We could have a building here. We could have a building across there somewhere. Um, What if we had a road... Going, going like this. Just have a road coming through. Oh, hang on a minute. Those poles are there. Can we move these poles? These poles are all over the place. Are we able to move these things? No. Hang on. Can we... Ooh. Ooh, I don't want to annihilate the trees. I want to annihilate the pole. Um, Hang on. How do we take that... How do we take that down? Oh, it's, oh, it's very finicky to click on. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Come in from this angle. Come in from this angle. Take it from a different position. Um, we might have to destroy a tree. Sorry, tree. I do apologise. And then take that down. I'll take that tree down. It's fine. Right, there we go. So like that. Take those trees down. Away with you, trees. Away with you, nature. We're replacing you with nature. And then, let's get ourselves. No, click on the right things. Click on the right things. Electric poles to just go to there. Like that. Connect that to there. Is that connected? Yeah. Okay, that's better. And that means we can then have that road running all the way up there. Just a different kind of road going all the way up there. Very good. And then, yes, we'll connect that. Oh, do you know what, actually? Yes. Look at that. Connect that. Is that going to knock that thing down? No, it's... Ah! It moves it. It's moved it right onto the corner. Oh, that's clever. Oh, good. Well, there you go. That's very helpful. So yeah, it doesn't just destroy it. It goes, oh, hang on, you want to put a road here? Let me just 
Let me just move that over into the corner for you. No, don't don't you worry. Okay, that's good. I like that. And then let's just get lots of animal things set up. Let's just put a few of these in, shall we? We are going to need to get some more power stuff sorted around the place, of course. And yeah, we are going to need um, we're going to need to get ourselves some more houses set up for our employees. But that's fine. I think we can work that. So let's go to animals. Right. What do we want to get? We've already got bees. That's fine. We don't need the bees. I mean, a small chicken coop and a small ostrich farm and a small cow shed. We can't build bigger than these until we've done the fancy research. I don't think that's going to unlock. What does it need? Yeah, a large ostrich. Hang on, hang on. Medium chicken coop requires, yeah, the annual agricultural school training. Okay, do you know what? How near are we to completion of these things? How near are we to that being done? It's only on 37, 38%. Okay, once that's done, we'll do we'll bite the bullet and do the big training. Because it unlocks so many wonderful things. In fact, is it worth holding off on getting animal things in until we can build bigger things for them to go into? Bigger pens and whatever, sheds and things. Because we might as well just maximise what we can. I mean, we're already in May. You know, a year has flown by. Winter starts in 212 days, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for that game. Um, but yeah, I think that'll go by very quickly. I think we just get that done. I think we wait for that. And then when that's done, we can then go forth and do all the fancy bits and bobs. Because yeah, it allows us to build all sorts of exciting things. Yeah, bigger buildings. Just get the bigger buildings in. That's got to be a good thing. Yeah, it gives specialised training... Increase the production rate of milk and eggs. Yeah, I mean, all this stuff is wonderful. All this stuff is wonderful. Third level of the building for pigs. I assume the annual agricultural school just unlocks the medium tiers of buildings. And then you have to go through these specific bits of training to unlock the final big buildings. But yeah, I'd rather go for the medium buildings rather than have loads of little tiny buildings. Let's just, yes, let's lay off on that for a while. We've got plenty of other things going on. We can, yeah, we can put fields into place. We can do all sorts of other bits and bobs. So let's just see. I mean, we've not even made any profit from these yet. Not even got anything from these. Nine days until they're ready. Ah, we've got tomatoes in. 46 days until they're ready. And they've been fully sprayed and what have you. That's very good. Over there, we have the raspberries are in. They're going to take 70 days. So they're quite slow. Ah, Training finish success. Okay, yeah, there is a notification. It's up there in the corner where it says training finish success in big letters. Penge. Right, go to there. Go down to here. And where is it? Where is the big training? I mean, there's probably other things that we could do with doing, but it's fine. It's fine. We just need to get this done, I think. And the earlier we do it, the earlier we have access to all the fancy things in a year's time. So yeah, okay. 100 grand. Boom. Let's go off to annual agricultural school, everybody. Let's go and learn about farming, even though we own a farm and run a farm. But okay, let's go and learn about farming a bit more. What we could do is, we could, we could get another bee thing in. In fact, we could get another couple in, couldn't we? Just fill this space up with beekeeping cottages. And then, could we put a field somewhere nearby and then put, what was the word? There was a word for the type of flowers. Mellifluous? Mellifluous. Something like that. Fancy flowers. I think that's what we could do. Let's get another one of these in. Because these just bring in nice, steady profit. So yeah, we'll have one of those. And then maybe we'll have another one as well. So that one there is then three over from that one. Yeah, there we go. We'll have a couple of those going in. So speed time on for this. Let us actually get two more bee people in. Right, okay. Click that. Uh, bees. Who's good at bees? Uh, you're good at endurance and bees. Yeah, we'll have you. Austin Burns. Okay, we'll have you. And we've got either Seren Lloyd or Maya O'Connor. Who's cheapest? Maya O'Connor. In you come, Maya. How are you? Welcome aboard. Uh, right. We need that to be assigned to somebody. To... Oh, crikey. Who's good at... Where are the bees? Maya can have that one. And then you can be assigned to is it Austin? Yeah, Austin. Austin's good at bees. Okay, 
Splendid. So now they've got that sorted, now we need to do is put out the beehives, of course, because they're not going to do much good without any of those in. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think it would be slightly limited in its appeal. Right, so yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and one, and two, just to break it up a bit. I think, I think, hang on, hang on, let's check that. When we place it, are there bees kind of buzzing around it? Oh, there are, look! I can't zoom in anymore, but there's bees buzzing around the top of the hive. Well, that's quite nice. Right, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Lovely. Okay, that should be making us quite a bit of money from honey when all that starts coming through. And we do have a bit right now. Let's go and sell that honey. Shall we sell that? How much can we sell it for? Three grand. Excellent. So we're paying back some of these things already. Okay, yeah, we'll take three grand. I mean, yeah, it's not loads, but it's better than nothing at all. Do you know what? I know we've gone away to do our training, and that's fine. We've gone away to do our agricultural training to learn about farms and animals and everything else, and that's all wonderful. And we're going to hold off on putting in, you know, all the animal buildings. So, you know, so we can have the medium-sized sheds and all that kind of stuff. But the fish farm only has one size of building. That's it. There's just a fish farm building. You can have a big fish farm or a small fish farm. It's just a fish farm. Shall we have a few of those? Why don't we have some fish farms? Because I think that could be very exciting. How about as well, there's a bit of room over here. We could put them down here. We might need to move that round a little bit. Possibly we could move this. But yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, fish farms, 10 grand. 10 grand, they cost 98 per month. But I think, oh my goodness me, they're completely massive. <gasps> there's a boat. They come with a boat. Okay, this is this is very exciting. Hang on, hang on. How do How do they get in? How do you get into the fish farm? Ah, right, it is that way, right? So you go in from the back. Um, I mean, do we want to put, I don't think we can put another one over there, can we? No, there's not enough room because that pump's in the way, I think. We could always move the pump. Um, oh no, I don't think we can. I think it's one, it's a little bit too big. Unless we put it that way. And then, yes. Oh, should we have a fish farm? Does it belong there? Do the fish farms belong there? I kind of feel like the fish farm should go on their own somewhere else. Just sort of out the way as to not disturb the fish um okay how about the fish farms go down here somewhere and we'll have to sort out power and it's probably a terrible idea because they want to put power and people specifically working in the fish farms have to go over here and all that kind of stuff but i think that's what we should do yep okay fine right fish farms it is yay everybody fish farms are coming in because it's new and i want to build some let's have two of these so i have one there and one next door we can always expand. We can always have more of those. Right, paved road. Yes, please. Just sort of bring it down to about there. That'll do the job. And then we're going to need somewhere to actually, you know, for people to live. Because those people... Oh. Okay. The range is further than I thought it was going to be. They will come and work over here. The only thing is, that's a bit of a walk for them, isn't it? How about we have dedicated people for the fish farms? And we could have loads of these. We could put it down here. And have them in the middle of the fish farms. We could just have eight fish farms. And then just have ourselves the workers for those fish farms just living in here. That could be that could be quite good actually. How about we do that? Let's get ourselves another worker building. 30 grand. Right, rotate it round. So yeah, we'll put it right in the middle. We'll have that there. So we could have, if we want, two more fish farms on that side. And then a fish farm there and a fish farm. Yeah, more fish farms going that way. We are going to need some storage for this, though. What kind of storage does a fish farm need? I'm not entirely sure. And then can we do anything with it? Can we do anything with it? We've got mills, we've got seedling productions. I didn't look at these either. What's that? Slaughterhouse, got milk processing plant. I mean, that's going to be huge. When we get the factories in, that's going to be very good. Vegetable processing, frozen food factory, and an oil factory. So I think that could be interesting. It's very expensive. The factories are super expensive. It's half a million farm manager monies. But yeah, then you can make oil, which could be very good. Fruit processing plant looks very exciting. Milk processing. Oh my goodness me. I mean, yeah, the freezing place, the frozen food factory could be quite good for fish. Because, you know, you could freeze the fish and then sell frozen fish. But yeah, in terms of storage, not quite sure what we do for that. Meats. I suppose it would be meats. So how about... We put that there. That'll do. Pop that. In fact, do you want to put it side on like that? And then we could have other things along there if we then build a road to it. So yeah, we'll have that going out like that. Okay, 
Splendid. Right. Many, many things to build in here. Many things. And hopefully as well, by the time that's sort of all done, yeah, look at this. Two days left. How long have we got for you? There's 30 days, 49 days, 64 days for the raspberry. Yeah, we're going to get some, some gooseberries, which is very exciting. Right, we need power. Of course we do. I, I feel that's going to be a recurring theme of me forgetting the power. <laughs> I think that's going to be a very, very frequent thing. Okay, how about then? What can we do with this? That transformer would go very well there. But then how can we wire it up to things? Can the wires just go... Can it go like that? So pop over to there and then connect in like that. I think that's enough. Yeah, okay, good. That's all sorted right now. Let's just get the fish things in. Just get them in. In fact, let's hire some people. Um, right, animals. We're going to want people that are good at animals. Unless there is a specific fish thing up here. I don't think there is. Right, who's good at animals? Two people, you and... You're good at beekeeping as well. You're very expensive. Darcy man, you're wonderful. And I'm sure you're a very nice person. Although you look a bit cross. But, yeah, you're, you're very expensive. Whereas this guy here is really, really good. He's really good at dealing with animals and he's cheaper. He's better at dealing with animals and he's cheaper than you. How about we just put you into there. We'll have one person for now and then we'll just see how they get on. But this is fine. So Ethan Wood is currently just sitting around in the house doing completely nothing. Let's train you up in animals. I mean, I am acutely aware that we're obliterating our money quite heavily there. We're just going through it very easily. Right, here we go. Let's assign that to Animal Man just there. So you go and deal with animals, Ethan, just there. And look at this. Oh, the water looks different. Oh, no, it's because we had it highlighted. Let's go and have a look at this. Oh, this is brilliant. There's a little sort of a little pier and a net. Oh, no, yeah, a sort of a life ring thing just in case he falls in. I don't. He works on his own. I don't, I don't know who's going to throw it to him, but whatever the case. And a boat and whatever that is. I don't really know what that is, but there's one of those as well. Okay, this is very good. I'm glad we've got these in. Oh, that one's not got any power. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's get used to that phrase in this series. So do we think we can get one of the, you know, one of the robots in disguise, Transformer things, in over here somewhere? Can we get one of those in over here? It's just short. Where it is now means it's just ever so slightly short, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, can we? Hang on, can we pick this up and move it? Can we Can we move this? Can, can we move you? I don't think we can move it, can we? What I'm thinking is, if we move that to there... So that's in between the middle of these buildings. And then I have another one down here that can then service the buildings that appear down here when we build them. That's what I'm kind of thinking might be quite useful, but I don't think we can move it. Um, there's a bell, and there's a pin thingy, and there's a cross. What does the pin thingy do? It just lets us look at it. Oh, look. <laughs> Doesn't it look lovely? Nice and electric-y. Okay, right, we can't do that then. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we could pick it up. What does that do? What does the bell do? I don't know what that does. Okay, not sure what that does. We might have to knock this down, which is a bit unfortunate. Hang on, how expensive are they? They are 5,000 a piece. Do you know what? We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll go for it. It's fine. Right, and then take that out. And then what we'll do is, time's pause, isn't it? Yeah, okay. What we'll do is get that in, put one of them here. So yeah, pop one. Oh no, but can we do that? Because then we can't put... Oh no, they won't be able to have the fisheries on this side, will we? Ah, oh, botherations. Hang on, hang on. Is there anywhere we can put it? Like there, on the other side, it, it nicely sort of pushed it to the edge of the you know, the corner of the road or whatever. Can we have it on the corner of the road? No. Ah, oh, no, this is this is unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, the power provisioning is a complicated thing in Farm Manager. Um, What we might have to do is... Oh, now I kind of think we can... I want to put that back where it was now. We'll just slap another one over here somewhere. Um, yeah, can we have it on the corner or something like that? Can we put it right in the corner as near as we can? Let's put one... Uh, let's put one there for now. We'll put it as near as we can to the edge. So put one just there. That covers everything. And then just connect it to that. And that's absolutely fine. And then just as a bit of an experiment. Right, okay, game, here we go. What happens now? We say we'd like a fishery, please. Put that in. It seems fine just there. The thing seems fine. Yeah, look, it's still got a green thing around it, so it seems okay. So hopefully that's going to work. Hopefully with it being just there, it's enough. You know, it's further over, you know, far enough over toward the road. In fact, yeah, it's kind of on the on the curb there, but that's fine. 
That's okay. That will do the job. Okay, so now have we got have we got Chappy working in it? Yeah, there he is. Right, he's gone to work in there. But this place has nothing in it right now. There's no fish in here. So let us buy some fish. Choose an animal. Um, carp are twenty and trout are twenty. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What was that? One of these was popular, wasn't it? Carp meat. Okay, let's buy some carp then. Yes, please. We'll have a carp and we'll have many of them. How many carp can we have? We can have up to 50 carp. Can we really? At 20 apiece? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Go for it. Make it happen. Have loads and loads of carp. There we go. Now, the only thing is, we're going to need to feed them, of course. So yeah, now we need to actually get some food in. So use organic food. That's fine. I don't mind doing that. I like the idea of it being organic. I kind of want to work out how to have organic honey. Not quite sure how we do that, if I'm honest. Um, is that over here? Is it obvious? I don't know if we can... I don't know how we do organic honey. We'll work that out another time. But right, over here. So what do we want to get them? Let's get some organic corn, some organic rye, and organic soya. That'll do. Rye, corn, and soya. Let's order some of that in. And there's a nice warehouse here where it can go, which is very handy. So let us buy in. Um, yeah, so some rye. We'll have that. So we're buying some rye. I don't know how much we need. Don't know how much we need. Oh, that's going into a silo. Okay, we'll build a small silo for 1500. Yes, absolutely. I think that's a good idea. In fact, is it worth building a slightly bigger silo whilst we're here? Medium silo, small silo a large silo. Okay, don't think the large one can fit. Oh no, can it fit? Yeah, it can fit just there. That can fit five tons of stuff in. I don't think we need five tons of stuff. What's the price difference? That's 10 grand. The medium one is two and a half grand and the small one's one and a half grand. Let's have a medium silo. Let's pop a medium silo in just there. Uh, has that magically appeared? Oh, okay. That just that just beams in, does it? All the other buildings get constructed. People come over and build those. This just plops in from space. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> right you are. And then, okay. So, rye. There we go. Let's get... Again, I don't know. I don't know. What can that thing hold? What can it hold? Uh, 20,000 units of stuff. Okay. So, if we go and buy ourselves... Uh, go and buy... Uh, I don't know, 5,000 units of that. How much is that going to be? 11 grand. Oh, that's that's quite costly. That's quite costly. Okay, 2,000. 2,000 units for four and a half grand. That probably will last us a long while, though. Uh, yeah, go on then. Yes. And then corn, wasn't it? So we'll have some of that. So how much is 2,000 units of that? It's only four grand. Okay, that's fine. And then... Uh, soy, wasn't it? So, spy, not spy. Soy, can't type. Um, soy organic. Yeah, that was it. So about 2,000 units of that is 6,600. Yeah, okay. So buy those things there. Do they need to be in? Do they need to be in? Ah, no, right. So we can say, have those. Uh, if we have another one, if we had another food type, that would get the food quality up to maximum. What have we got? Lupine and wheat. Okay, what's the best thing to have here? Then? So, lupine. So, bio lupine is uh, per kilogram is three nine. Oh well, three point nine zero. So yeah, three hundred ninety for a hundred. Or um, wheat was it? Or wheat is two hundred ninety three. Do you know what? We'll have the wheat. Let's buy two thousand wheat. There we go. Five eight fifty. Buy that in, please. There's plenty of room in there, and we can say, yes, they can have wheat as well. Okay, this is good. Now, we need to wait for that stuff to arrive. There is some... Ah, look, it tells you it's on the way. There's a little sort of truck symbol telling us that that is being delivered. Oh, that's very good. Right, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, and there should be some on the way. There we go. We have much in the way of food over here, and I think... Is he loading it up with food? Yeah, current food quality is okay at the minute. It's okay. So hopefully we can just see that progress. And there we go. We've got biocarp, which sounds wonderful. Hello, right, we've got biocarp going on. This is very exciting stuff. Oh, this is wonderful. I've really got carp meat in there already. Hang on, what? What, what, what? Hang on, hang on. No, 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 we can't have that already, can we? Have we got, is that a carp? I mean, fish all look the same. Carp meat. We've got 169 carp meat in there. And we've got 168, um, whatever it is, kilograms of the, of the gooseberries. 
that must be what we got out of the greenhouse. Okay, right, well, let's sell these then. So, um, honey, sell that. That's 1,909. Yeah, that's good. Make that go away. Right, we don't want to sell those. They're fine. We want to keep them. Keep them in your, keep the sort of your chemical treatmenty things. Um, okay, these things then. So sell all of the organic gooseberries for 3,014 monies. Yeah, that seems like good money. That seems like a good solid thing. And then the carp meat, sell all of that for 811. But I mean, that they've only been there for a few seconds. So I'm amazed that that's, that's come up that quickly. I think we're going to get loads of that. I think we're going to get absolutely loads of that stuff. Okay, well, there we go. So we've got ourselves some fisheries in. This is brilliant. Oh, I'm very glad to be back in the land of farm manager. Um, right, and then yeah, that one. I want to get that sorted as well, because there are two of these. We're paying maintenance on that and no one's using it. So can we hire somebody who is good at treating animals and Albie Brown animals and beekeeping? Your price is okay, I suppose. I don't know when this refreshes. When does that refresh, do we think? Is it a daily basis or is it every couple of days or every week or what? I don't really know. Um, yeah, if we go in, is it still... Uh, oh, no. No, it's different people. You're okay. Paige Hamilton, three with animals. You can do a bit of manufacturing as well. Right, you go into there. And then pick this. Assign Paige to go and work in there, please. And then in here, we'll buy the other one in here. We'll buy whatever that was. Trout. Just buy a massive load of trout. 50 trout, please. There we go. All of the trout, like so. And then you can have those things to eat. Oh, bother. They eat different things. Um, yeah, sorghum and buckwheat. Uh, if I remember rightly, they were the things that the bees needed to make better types of honey, weren't they? They were the things the bees needed to make the different honey types. Um, yeah, they needed different things over here. Maybe we can have a little buckwheat field over here somewhere. And while they're not working in the greenhouses, our staff can go and work on that, possibly. And then we can just provide our own food for this. That could be quite good. Yeah, it was buckwheat, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. It was an expendable thing. We used to have tiny fields next to the bees where they could just go and make different types of honey. Um, okay, how about then we have... We'll have to buy some in, but that's okay. I assume we can just put it somewhere nice. So, uh, oh, hang on, no, let's press let's press the right button. That would help, wouldn't it? Okay, buy buck, buckwheat, but spell it correctly. And we'll buy 2,000 of that, please. Wow. That's expensive. Okay, hang on. Not that. What was the other thing? It was saw, sorghum or something like that. Is that is that really expensive? What if you have 2,000 of that? That's far better. Okay, you can have that instead. There you go. Or, organic sorghum. Whatever that might be. Um, yeah, so you can have that as well. Okay, splendid. Right, let's just wait for that to be delivered. Yeah, so we can see... Uh, where does that stuff go then? Where does the organic... Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can see the little things being delivered. That's really handy. That's really, really useful, being able to see that. That thing has got no food. Well, let's give her, a, give her a second just to get the stuff in. She's probably gone in and, you know, set up her stuff, got her desk ready and all that kind of stuff. So now, yeah, she needs to get some food in. But I think she might be having a sleep at the minute. Yeah, there we go. I think that's her heading in now. And then she's just going to go and stock up on food, which I guess is down here. And we'll see her running up, hopefully and making sure there's lots of food in there. I mean, look at that. That's the, the meat from there is coming in. It's a ludicrous, ludicrous pace. There's 560, five, 675. <laughs> there's so much meat coming in from the fish. Hang on. And we've got, yeah, when you put your food in, it should work out that they're bio things. What does, what do the two icons mean? Hang on a minute. Not enough resources. The animals are starving. Are there not enough resources? There should be loads of resources. There's loads of them. Just just put them in there quicker. Just load them up a little bit quicker. That would make life easier, wouldn't it? Um, has that gone away? No. Oh, summer is here. For many people, it is time for vacation. Unfortunately, it is also a stormy period, a time for looking after plants from the beginning of the harvest. Okay, we've not got much in the way of harvesting right now because yeah, all of our stuff is in greenhouses or bees or fish. Unfortunately, fish that might be dying, possibly, if we don't get on with this. And hang on. I've not ticked use organic food, have I? There we go. Yeah, forgot about that. Right, now you can bring all the food in. <laughs> Sorry, fish. Stay alive. It's very expensive to get all those trout in there. Come on. 
lob some food in there, just chuck some corn in. And come on, I just want to make sure we've got... <laughs> There's so much fish. There's so many fish, but I'm a little bit concerned about this. Paige. Oh no, you've gone back home, Paige. All the fish are looking very unwell. They're looking a little bit poorly. Can you just hurry up, Paige? Uh, yeah, I think you're still resting. Yeah, because that's going back up. So you should hopefully wake up and then just get on with this. Go into there and then immediately bring some food in. Bring food in. I've told you to use organic food. There's loads of it. There's loads of organic food on here. Ah, there you are. Is that you, Paige? I don't really know what's going on here. Something weird is happening. Farm manager is doing his weird thing whereby there's plenty of food available, but she's not going to fetch it from there. Uh, oh, no, hang on. No, now we need to tick it again. Right, there we go. <laughs> Use organic food, reset it. Okay, right. This time round. This time round. The problem is not farm manager. The, the problem is Penge. Penge manager. Uh, right. Okay, here we go. Paige, please bring some food in to feed those fish because they're all going to die. Yes, I think maybe she's gone to grab some food. The fish are looking a little bit worse for wear. All the ones next door, all these ones are looking brilliant. All the carp, they're going brilliant. I like this. There you go. They've got some food. They've got some food there. <laughs> and they're almost all dead, but they've actually got some food. Do they heal up? Does that actually make them get healthier now they've actually got stuff to eat? I'd like to think that maybe they're going to start getting healthier. There we go, look. They've got different types of food in now. Current food quality, looking very good. And I think the last bit is going to go in. Excellent. There we go. I mean, yeah, that was a lesson in understanding how all this kind of stuff works with the food quality. So when you tick use organic food, yes, it does reset the options. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, their health is slowly ticking back up because, yeah, they've got themselves a nice range of healthy foods. And already we've got some, uh, we've got some, whatever that was, trout meat, which I'm sure is delicious. Right. Okay. Pause time. What I think we'll do is let's sell our stuff. We'll sell all the stuff we've got right now just to see what money we've got. So 535, go to sell. So sell all of the honey for 4,376. Brilliant. We'll have that and then sell an awful lot of this. I mean, that that's 11 grand. That's 11 grand from carp meat. Thank you. And then we will make ourselves one grand from the trout meat. So not quite as good for the trout meat. Maybe it wasn't such good quality, given the trout were all a little bit kind of dying and such like. But there we go. So up to 551 grand. So we've spent just under half a million. We've spent about 450,000 farm manager monies. And we have this little setup so far, which I think is looking pretty good. I think the fish over here, if we could get that entirely set up with eight fisheries over here, I think that would make a great deal of money particularly with the carp meat going on. But I think even without the 20% boost, that's pretty profitable. I think that's bringing a lot of money. So yeah, we could get that all set up over here. Maybe we'd need a big silo over there. And then, um, yeah, how long is left on the on the training thing? How long is left? What percentage are we at on that? Probably not very much at all. Where on earth is it? We're only on 9%. Yeah, it was May, wasn't it, when we started it? So that's going to take ages. That's going to take ages. But yeah, yes, in the long run, get a thing set up over here for animals. Get loads of animals over there. It's going to be wonderful. Lots of different animals, pigs and chickens and turkeys and quails and various other bits and bobs. So we'll put all those over there. It might be worth getting a little field set up over here. That could also be quite good. And then, yeah, maybe just some more greenhouses. We've got a little sort of setup for it over here. We could just fill this space up here with greenhouses, possibly, just to maximise what we've got. Fill this house over here with um, with more people that deal with plants and stuff. Maybe get orchards in. We've got people that can deal with orchards. So maybe set up an orchard or two. So plenty for us to be getting on with on our lovely, lovely new farm. Which of course is called the Lovely People's Farm. Now when we started the game, we didn't get to name it. In Farm Manager 2018, you got to name your farm. And then you got to pick sort of the money you started with and such like as well. But you didn't get to do that this time around. But this is of course the Lovely People's Farm. It is, it's your farm as well as my farm. It's your farm. It's all our farm together. It's all lovely. So if you want to come over and, you know, help 
gut some of the fish or, you know, help sort out some of the manure, that would be very welcome. Thank you very much. That'd be really helpful if you could, you know, just lend a bit of a hand over on what is now your farm as well. That would be splendid. So thank you. I'll see you over in the, uh, see you over by the manure storage thing in a few hours. Thank you very much. But yes, what we'll do is we'll finish up for now and then, yeah, we'll come back next time to see how we get on. Hopefully you have enjoyed this wonderful return to Farm Manager. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Farm Manager 2021. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well, and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>